Control. It's wonderful. You sit there and you've got your cut. You, you'd be delighted to watch this. For me, Just around the penalty spot area in the first minute of this fourth round FA Cup tie. Doyle will whip it near post. And it's all <laughs> and again. Oli McBurney. Dream start for Sheffield United here in North Wales. Wonderful header at the near post. Nothing the former Blades keeper Mark Howard can do. That will shut up all the talk here. What a fantastic start. It is his first goal since early November when the Blades blasted Burnley for five at Bramall Lane. We're in the second minute. It's Wrexham nil. Sheffield United won. I can barely talk. I'm smiling so hard. So happy for them. I, honestly, McBurney being in the line, I, I, you fancy him. You know, the way he started the season, the way he's performed, he's hungry, he wants to get his start in by a fact. He the goal in a 3-2 win on that occasion. Headed away by Basham towards halfway. Norwood will look to get it forward for McBurney, who's shown an excellent touch early on, and he's played it into Daniel Jefferson here on the end of the centre circle, carries oh, it forward oh. into the box. Jefferson will strike oh. it! Howard with a hand down to his right-hand side. It's going to go out for a corner. The great interplay between the blades at front two, but it's a third corner of the game already. Yeah, the first touch was a bit of a miscontrol from McBurney, but he made great from it. Then lovely ball to Jefferson. Jebo's confidence, my gosh. Ball in from the left, headed down, it's going to be flicked towards goal, and it's going to be turned in as well. And it's Mullin, who else will it be? Sheffield United didn't deal with one of the long throws in from the left-hand side, and Paul Mullin gets goal number 28 of the season for the Red Dragons. The National League side respond here early in the second half. We have a real cup tie on our hands here in North Wales. And he's Wrexham 1, Sheffield United 1. Here comes the corner from Wrexham. Whip central, oh. Ray Davis is there! Sheffield United defence and the National League leaders have turned this game on his head with two goals early in the second half. Quite the upset on the cards here. 61 on the clock, Wrexham 2, Sheffield United 1. To the edge of the area looking for Billy Sharp. Looked like he's been fouled by O'Connor. Sharp goes to the byline. line, he's going to try and get the cross in, it's deflected up in the air, it's missed. Eliman and Jai tries to bring it down, Jefferson on the turn, cleared away. It's going to come out to oh. Norwood, brilliant block, Norwood yes, again! Norwood. And only Norwood will score for the Blades in the second attempt. Just being nice. Tucked it into the corner, kept his head, kept his cool. It's the first chance the Blades have had. 25 minutes to go at the race course. It is Wrexham 2, Sheffield United 2. Oh, the Blades just outside his own penalty area. Looks over the top. Jefferson looked like he was being blocked over there by Toza. Toza saying that he's going to be... He's been kicked up by Jefferson. Protesting greatly. Referee is going to... Well, it's going to be a call over here by the fourth official of his little pitch in. Referee's going to his pocket here, and it's a red card! Oh, Daniel Jefferson is sent off, Paul Hackingbottom has got absolutely apoplectic. Wow. He has kicked one of the boxers just in front of us to get towards the fourth official. Billy Sharp and Ali Norwood have come across here as well. But Daniel Jefferson, the young Canadian who's seen such a purple patch recently with two goals in three games, he is going to be held down the tunnel. And Sam Dolby, the substitute, crosses in. Oh. Oh, it may have hit an arm. And the play goes on, comes off the ball. Oh, that's sure. Has he gone over the line? Palmer can't believe it, it's still going on. Oh, that looked like it was way in. It looked like it, it bounced down potentially in. A Sheffield United counter-attack. Here's Njai. Yeah. He will get tackled. Well, that's quite an extraordinary moment. A thunder hit from Palmer. Oh, I've got to admit, I'm not sure.
so well, they have got goal line technology here, but whether that actually went over the line or not, oh not given ball in from the right hand side, Davis will claim this, but a tremendous effort from Ollie Palmer. Strike. Well, if that, if that indeed did go in, well, that's a moment people will be looking back on. Phil Parkinson is just turning around, trying to get some guidance here, but it was a thunderous strike. Wow. Low goes into Illiman and Jai. Dances away from Lee. Stands on the ball then and gives the ball away. And now Wrexham will be able to come downfield and Jai trying to work back. Molly will play into the path of Dolby. Dolby out to the right hand side into the Sheffield United penalty area. Cuts back into the middle. Molly to strike. Molly to score through the legs of Alan Davis. What scenes inside the race course ground as the National League leaders take the lead once again. This time, definitely, it is their talisman, Paul Mullin, with his 28th of the campaign, that looks like it's going to send the National League leaders, Wrexham, through to the fifth round of the FA Cup and send Sheffield United to the Championship, crashing out at the fourth round stage. What a cup tie we have seen tonight. The ten-man blades are heading out. Four minutes to go. Wrexham three, Sheffield United two. Here comes Sheffield United's corner from the right, Doyle into the air, it's going to be yeah! in by John Egan! John Egan at the back post! You can hear the silence from the home fans! Egan races back to the halfway line! He scored a couple recently, but he has broken Welsh hearts here in North Wales! Deep into added time, just as Wrexham thought that they'd set up their Hollywood ending. Sheffield United have written up the script and look like they're taking Wrexham back to Bramall Lane for a replay. And it is John Egan who's brought it in at the back post. What an incredible game. The 10 man blades could be in the hat for the next round. Two minutes of added time to go. It is Wrexham three, Sheffield United three. Final five seconds of the seven. Whitestone will look at his watch. There goes the full-time whistle. What an extraordinary game of football we have witnessed here at the race course ground. There is applause from all three sides of this ground for a remarkable effort by the National League leaders. They have taken Championship Sheffield United all the way here in a remarkable game of football.